day and thank you for checking out the ACS library. My name is Kyle and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride for free in just five minutes a day. Today's video covers a tool that can be used to further develop your understanding of airspace. It's called the rocket ship game. It can be played alone or with an instructor and it's very simple. All you need is a VFR sectional or tack chart. Open the chart up and select a random point on the chart. This point can be chosen with your eyes closed, by an instructor, or during a game of darts. Once you've selected a random location, pretend you're in a rocket ship launching off perfectly vertical. On your way to outer space, what classes of airspace would you encounter? I'll perform two examples. We'll select this point with an elevation of 127 feet near John Wayne Airport in Southern California. It's never a bad idea to pick areas filled with tricky airspace to make it a little tougher on yourself. It's a great idea to challenge yourself in training so the checkride doesn't feel so challenging when you get there. From this point, traveling straight upward, we would encounter these classes of airspace. From the surface at 127 feet to 699 feet AGL, or about 826 feet MSL, we would be in golf airspace. We know this because we're on the inside of this shaded magenta area here. Echo typically lies above golf, so we can expect to be in echo from 827 feet MSL to 2,499 feet MSL, where we bump into this section of Charlie airspace. The limits are depicted by this fraction with the upper limit in hundreds of feet on top and the lower limit on bottom. So, we're in Charlie from 2,500 feet to 5,400 feet MSL. The Bravo airspace above us does not start until 7,000 feet MSL, so we can plan to be back in Echo airspace from 5,401 to 6,999 feet MSL. Like we mentioned a second ago, Bravo airspace begins at 7,000 feet MSL and extends to 10,000 feet MSL. Above that, we re-enter Echo airspace from 10,001 feet MSL to 17,999 feet MSL. Alpha begins everywhere at 18,000 feet MSL, so from flight level 180 to flight level 600, we can expect to cruise through Alpha airspace. Finally, above Alpha, we re-enter Echo airspace until entering outer space. We'll work through one more using the runway at Scottsdale, Arizona. If we took our rocket ship to the center of runway 21, we'd expect to be in Delta airspace from the surface to 3,999 feet MSL. We know that the Delta airspace stops at 3,999 because of the negative 40 shown here. In between the Delta airspace and Bravo shelf, we'll expect to be in Echo airspace from 4,000 feet to 5,999 feet MSL. Above that, we see that we're in Bravo from 6,000 to 9,000 feet MSL, Above that, we expect to be in echo again from 9,001 feet all the way up to just under flight level 180. We know that alpha exists from 180 to flight level 600, and above that, we'd re-enter echo. This concludes today's discussion of the rocket ship game. Hopefully you enjoy using it to further your understanding of the national airspace system. I love to use this as an instructional tool. Good luck. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you found it helpful, I hope that you'll like, share, or subscribe to the channel. Once subscribed, don't forget to hit the bell button for notifications. Comments are always appreciated. Thanks again, and safe flying.